guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Kenny and I'm a content creator. Now, I know that my other two videos, I kind of look like a bum. It was kind of more like chill. It was like, I guess, more like a, like a deep conversation, I guess. And I really like those, like, I guess, like introduction to me. But I was saying next time that I wanted to do a video, I wanted it to be, you know, more like upbeat. My usual personality, like, you know, something where it's like, it's just like me, you know, pretty much most of the time. So, I was wondering, I was like, okay, so what video should I post next that also I want to be more lively, but I want it to be like, you know, more like a, like my upbeat side, you know, my usual, you know, happy-go-lucky self. I thought, I was like, you know what, I want to do like a story time, but I was like, what story time I feel like would be like a good story time for like my first story time. I do have like another story time on my channel a while ago where it was, I honestly can't remember, I think it was something about my ex, how, how he cheated on me or something. But this story time is not about a boy, not about an ex, it's about how I almost got locked up with my best friend. Now, first want to preface off by saying, don't steal. Stealing is not right. Stealing, I'm not encouraging to steal or anything like that. Or like, what is it called when you steal at the mall? Shoplift. Don't shoplift. Don't do that. So this is just me, you know, starting it off. So if there's, there's any kids watching, 18 and under, any grown-ups, you know, over 18, whatever, just don't steal. This is just what happened. Me and my best friend. So basically, it was I was around. I was a sophomore, so I mean, I was around like I was 15, and my best friend, she was a senior, I believe. I, I'm not gonna say her name or anything, but she kind of got me into shoplifting. I know it doesn't sound good. She's not a bad person, I promise. We were just both young and dumb and just doing things. So you guys might not know, but I've always been into like fashion and clothes. But I was a broke kid, so I didn't really have the funds to like just go and buy clothes. So my best friend at the time, she had money, which I, looking back on, I don't understand why she shoplifted, but she had money and she was just like, I guess she just didn't want to spend her, her stuff on, on, on the clothes. So I remember it was one day where like she always, cause she always had like nice clothes. Like she just always looked like really nice and kept and upkept and I always wanted to be like her, right? So I remember it was one day she was going to the mall and I was like, are you like, like, are you? Like, are you, are you, you know, doing your thing? And she was like, yeah, if you want to come, I, you know, I'll show you. And I was like, okay, okay. So, obviously, me being little 15-year-old Kenny, I am terrified, but I'm also like, I need clothes. So, basically, I remember we was on the bus. We was bus trapping it. We went to, like, a mall that was, like, super far out because she gave you, she gave me tips. I'm not going to tell you the tips because I'm not going to, you know, let you know. But just know we went to somewhere that was really far that we never went before. And so basically, I remember she was like, "So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that." And it was a bunch of things. She was like, <laughs> "She was giving me pointers and tips the whole ride there because it was about an hour and a half to two hour bus ride. Like it was a long time, but back then I didn't care. Like I wanted clothes. So I remember we got there and I was like so nervous and I was so scared. I was like, "Oh my goodness, am I really gonna do this? Like, is this really happening? Like." you're going to become a criminal and you're going to go to jail basically and lo and behold almost happened but so what happened was we went to a first store i'm not going to say the names of these stores because hopefully one day i want to get be able to get promoted and be an ambassador one day so i'm not going to say the stores but i will say that i went to one we went to one store and you know i was you know i was i was i was getting what i wanted fairly easily than what I expected it was going to be easier to do. So I, I, I got a couple things. I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of stuff. Basically what happened was I got I got a bunch of pair of jeans because I knew I needed jeans. This one like skinny jeans was like really in, like in style. And so I was like I need as many skinny jeans and as many colors because I don't know if you guys know like the new boys and like you were jerking all that stuff. It, it wasn't around that time. It was like in middle school but it was still like colorful skinny jeans were still like popping or whatever. So I remember I got a lot of jeans. I got, I remember I got like some jackets. I got some shirts. Don't ask me where I put this stuff, but just know I got it and I equipped it on my body. And so I was, I was, you know, I was set. So in my head, you know, I got my stuff from the section. She got her stuff from the section. You know, we walk out, we like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So she like, yeah, I got stuff. And then so you know, we feeling good. We feeling like, you know, we feeling, you know, just really. Like, you know, big, big boss people. And so, basically, I remember. I remember, like, this is this is what comes and happens. This is what life. If you get too greedy, 
things will start to happen. So I, I remember I was talking to her, I was like, well, we already did it once and we got away with it and we should do it again. Like, you know, we should, you know, you know, check out another store or whatever. And so basically I remember we went to another store and like, you know, we was doing our thing, we was dibbling, we was dabbling, we was in the dress rooms. Like we thought we was like hot-ish. Like we thought we was, we thought we was in the thing. Like we, we, we thought we was good. Like we, nothing was gonna happen. <sighs> but we sadly mistaken. We were sadly, sadly, sadly mistaken. So I remember, I remember this day like it was yesterday, man, when I tell y'all I was so scared. So I remember like, you know, we, we, we thinking we big boss people. You know, two minority kids just like walking through. Somehow we come out looking a lot bigger than what we, you know, when we came in the store looking like we just looked a lot more puffy, if you get what I mean. And so I remember, you know, we're walking out the store and like we just thinking we like smooth selling. We thinking we good. We like, okay, yes, okay, now time to go get on the bus and go home with our new stuff. We thinking that we finna go to school the next day hot ish. Like we thinking we is like, ain't it? We thinking we finna wear this. I'm putting pieces together. I'm like, Like, I'm thinking that we, we good. I'm thinking that we, it's good. Like, so I'm thinking that this is me right here. I'm this me, and this is her right here. I remember, I'm looking at her while I'm talking to her. And, like, she's shorter than me, so I, like, you know, I can see, like, above her head or whatever. I'm looking down the aisle, and I see somebody running towards me. And, like, at first, I'm not thinking it's going to be me. Like, I'm like, I've never been in this situation before. I don't know what's going on, but I just know I see somebody in a walkie-talkie. I don't know what they say, but I see somebody talking to their walkie-talkie and they just running. I, I just see it. And so I'm just like, this can't be for me. This can't be for us. So I remember, you know, I see somebody walking this way and like, I, it's like, a, it's a white lady. I'm me and her making like eye contact. And I'm sitting here because I'm trying to assess out, is this for me? Is like a robbery happening? It's a criminal in the mess? Like I'm getting scared because I turn to my right. White man. He's running towards our direction. And I'm thinking to myself, he's talking on the walkie. Running. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what is going on? I'm, so I'm sitting here in my head. I'm like, I think this is for us, bitch. I think this is for us. Bitch, I think this is for us. And so I, I, I was like, you know how like you have like that fight or flight instance? I was like, a, a, a part of me wanted to run. I really wanted to run it so bad, so bad. But I was, I was just in shock because I was like, this is it. You about to go to jail. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You're getting locked up. You're going to be a criminal. Like, this is it. Like, this is it for you. Like, pack your bags up. It's time to go. Put the orange jumpsuit on and just go. Like, I was, I was prepared. And every bone in my body wanted to run so bad. Like, I was so scared. Like, I was like, oh, Lord, if my legs just moved a little bit, maybe I could have got away. I don't know, because later found out when I started working at the mall, I heard that security guards came and touch you. So, looking back on it, I would have got away. But I didn't know all that. I thought they were just going to bone rush my little bony ass, and that was going to be it for me. As they're coming up, they end up like, they never touched us or anything, but I think, I can't remember, we had like a, I, yes, we had our book basket, we just came from school. I remember... The dude grabbed my bag, dude, and the lady grabbed her bag, and we sitting here like, like, like we're like just in shock because we didn't move, we didn't budge, we we just you know we just allowed it to happen, and so I remember they I don't remember exactly what they told us, but I know somehow they they ex escorted us like to like this way back into the second store. Now mind you, they didn't know about the first store. Well, I'm guessing they didn't know about the first store. Because if we, we could have easily just left and that would have been it. But the second store is when, I guess, they just really, they caught on to us. Because I, I know for a fact that they have very good security at this specific, specific store that I was at. So, basically, I remember, you know, we they, they escorted us down to, like, some little dungeon thing. Where we walked down some steps. At this point in my life, I'm thinking, we getting locked up. So, I'm starting, like, the panic. Like, you don't understand. Like, my heart is like... Like, I, I'm, I am nervous. Like, I remember it to myself. I was like, oh, my God. I, I just remember, like, my eyes started watering. I was thinking to myself, I was like, you finna write her ass out. 
you ain't gonna, I'm sorry, I, I know, I know how it sounds, but in my head, I'm like, I, I didn't think about this. I didn't even know this was a thing. She, she's older, you know, she, she lived, uh, she lived a longer life than me. She, granted, she was only like 16, 17, but it was longer than mine. So, in my head, also, I'm gonna write her ass out. That's it, that's all. You know, she wasn't black, but she was a minority. And I was like, she's gonna, she, she'll, get, she'll get away with it, because she's not black, I'm black. I, I need to find something to do. And so basically, I just remember we sat down and immediately before the officer even, I don't know if he was a police officer, I don't know if he was a security guard, I don't know what the fuck happened. I just remember as soon as he said one word, I just started crying. When I tell you, I was like bawling on the floor. Like I, when I tell you, I was like, Bleh. Like, I am, like, sitting here, like, I am going through it. I had, like, I was trying to, like, build this whole style, so I was, like. Like, I was, like, I was so, it's just so funny to think back on it, where I was, like, wow. Like, I remember when she was even trying to help my cat, she was like, because I was shooting, and then, mind you, she's cool, calm, and collected. I, if, if anybody ever tried to rob a bank with me, just know y'all getting locked up. I'm One, I'm ready y'all out. And y'all getting locked up because I'm going to be the singing canary. I, it's just, it is what it is. I try to make it think that I'm like, this tough because I'm cool. But then when I get put in, I, I've never been put in like a situation like this before or even after, but. I, this just really broke me because I was like, I can't do this, Lord. I, this is not for me. And so I, I remember, man, they got our information. They, I didn't even have like an ID. I was 15. I didn't have like an ID. She had an ID. Showed them an ID. I said my name. I said, they asked where I lived. I gave them my address. I remember my mama had to come up there and, and get me or something. Actually, no, she did not come up there and get me because if any black person know. A, a lot, not everybody, but any black person know the mom's gonna be like, Don't call me if you get locked up, you're gonna sit right there. I don't know if anybody else had, else had that, but I had that mother. She was like, If you ever get locked up, don't call me because you probably deserve it. I was like, I remember I called her and she laughed on the phone, she laughed on the phone, she really did. I was like, Wow, I'm going to jail. I, mind you, I couldn't leave the police officer, the security guard had to like tell her. Because I, I was a minor, she wasn't because she was like 16, 17, and where I'm at, you're like a legal adult. So she could have actually got sent to like juvenile or jail. And so, but the thing is, they didn't, they ended up letting her go, but she ended up staying, sitting with me when, uh, because I had to wait until my mom got there because they, they couldn't like let me leave until like my mom got there. So I just remember I was, oof, when I tell you, I was drained from crying so much. I didn't get like, you know, in trouble. My mama, because my, my mom, she's a different kind of breed. She laughed the whole car ride home. She was like, that's what you get. And I hope you learn your lesson. And she was like, I don't care. They, she was like, they would have locked you up. I would have sat right there because you deserved it. And I was like, wow. Wow. I, my mother's ruthless. She's ruthless. Like, I, I, was, I, was, I was in complete shock. I was, I, I, I was shocked. It, it was, I will say, it, it, it taught me a big lesson. Not big enough because I ain't going to lie, I've done it before. Or later after <sighs> Jesus Christ. but but I was I don't do it anymore I don't do it anymore I got a little bit better when I was older in high school but I, I stop I promise I promise I don't do it anymore I am a good citizen I am grown now I was a child it, it was a lot but I remember from the store that I was at they said that I couldn't, I was banned for that coming back in that store, like over, like overall, until so I was like 18, so for like, I, what, I was, so I was 15, so like what, three years? Yeah, I was banned to go back to that store for three years, and I'm not gonna lie, it, now I was, I feel good and stuff like that, but even after I turned 18, like from like 18 to like 21, every time I walked to the mall, I just would like, just, I would just look the other way. Like, even if I was at a different mall, I wouldn't even look in that store's direction because I was scared if I just stepped foot, I would get locked up. And I just had PTSD. I was like, I'm not going back there. I'm not going back there at all. Like, it, it was traumatic. It was very traumatic. Can't do it no more. Mm. Okay, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this story time. I hope you, you know, found this somewhat exciting, but also educational. 
please, children, if you're watching this, please don't steal. Please just, 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 if you don't have the money, just work for it. You know, if you don't got an allowance, you know, you'll become grown eventually. You'll get a job eventually because you won't live without no job. But you'll get a job eventually and you'll be able to buy everything or almost everything that you want, as in like clothes. Because honestly, all I just wanted was clothes and food. That's all I wanted. I didn't want nothing else. So, yeah, I almost went to jail. I almost got fined. Luckily, I did not get fined. Um, I think my best friend got fined. I think she got fined, and they also called her house. Yeah, I think she got fined. But luckily, you know, nothing happened. No charges were pressed or anything like that. Like, I was completely fine. I was completely good. But if you guys did enjoy this story time, if you guys, you know, want to hear more things, because I have a bunch of stories to, like, you know, tell and, like, just... I feel like it's like will be like really exciting to like talk about and stuff and like just like sharing like see like if you guys you know even have like similar stories definitely leave them in the comments below like every time I do a story time if you have like something similar definitely leave them comment down below I would love to read it I would love to react and all that stuff let it sound like it'll be amazing like it won't make me feel like I'm like the only bad person you know so yeah just you know boost my ego and you know put it in the comment section below but if you want to follow me on Instagram by now I will have like a couple pictures and post up um, follow me at like I am Kenny Young. It's uh, two Y's in the middle and two G's at the end. I am Kenny Young on Instagram. I am going to try to get on like TikTok and things like that. And you know, the more and more I build, I do want to like do a Patreon and like it's a bunch of other stuff that I want to do with you guys so you guys can see like exclusive content. And like when I hit like my 1K milestone, whenever that happens, because I don't know when, obviously, I don't know when that'll be, but whenever I hit that, I will want to do like a live and kind of like a live QA so you can get to like know me more and just things like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.